There's another dead TATUD. And another dead TATUD. <laughs> Hello guys, and welcome to episode 11 of my Folder Gap campaign in Warno, playing on the NATO side. Previously, we had a fantastic battle at Ellsfeld. We used the Leopards to crush the advancing East Germans once again, and we've managed to almost entirely secure Ellsfeld now, vanquishing their northern flank. Today, though, we're going to have to use the 7th Cavalry Squadron to defend against the heaviest the Soviets have to offer once again. The TATUDs are back for more, and the 7th Cavalry Squadron... <laughs> It's fatigue is just keeps going up and down. All right, we can bring in some air supports. These two air nets don't appear to be up. But I was pretty sure that there was another air unit up here somewhere. So we might just bring in C to be safe. The main thing that I actually need in this battle is air to air, like fighter aircrafts, like F-16s. And I'm pretty sure the 23rd has both of those. So we got the wild weasels and the F-16s in there for air to air. We could just bring in like the normal F-16s. But... I think bringing in seed is safe. And if it's fine, maybe I'll switch out for the F-16s anyway. So let's tactical battle. Okay, looks like there was the books here. Was that just more books? I saw four missiles on that unit. Yeah, that's just more books. Crazy. Well, the interception failed because it's a seed unit and we managed to get through there, so that's good. We've bumped into another one, though. <laughs> Wait, that's, is that even more books? Even more books. Okay, sure. And that failed again, but we lost another aircraft. We've been losing quite a lot of aircraft. I've only got three F-16s left in here. And another one. There's no way. Wow. <laughs> All right. Hey, what is happening? <laughs> Was that four units of AA that we just broke through? With the seed aircraft? <laughs> that was insane. Okay, let's jump on in. We could have probably backed out and brought in the F-16s after that, but it really feels like way too cheesy. <laughs> I'm glad. That we brought in the seed, even if they did get kind of crushed. That is, uh, that is rough. Yeah, we lost uh, multiple F-16s. Okay, this is a very open map. This is a dangerous map for fighting DATUDs. It really is. Because their Age of Gems are very strong. They're longer range. They're faster firing. You know, they've got more velocity on those missiles. It's going to be rough. It's going to be really rough. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll have to make sure we use the Kiowas with the, the Hellfires. Making sure that they can reload quickly is going to be super important. Having adequate recon to see where they're coming from is also going to be important. So let's throw a couple of scouts up here. We'll put, try and get one in the building over there. And I'll try and move one into one of these buildings as well. We'll have a scout unit I'm listening, Captain. that can hang out in that tree line and we'll move some scouts yes, to the right over here as well. We'll capture this early on. I'm thinking we can also probably capture both of these sectors eventually but this 55 points we got left I've got to use this wisely. just not really a good way to trap the TATUDs on this map. Maybe the plan is to have multiple Abrams on this side, for example. We just have them at the bottom of the hill. And then when we see all of those tanks come up, we can just ambush them from both sides. I think I'm going to try that. So we'll p pull eight Abrams over here. We'll do four on this side, and we'll do four 
on this side. I mean, actually, maybe even further over. Like so. This is a story you will tell your grandchildren. I think that's fine. We might be sending one extra over there, but that's that's okay. Yeah, we just send all of those Abrams like split like this. Then they, when they come down here, we just advance up and shoot them. We might lose Abrams in the process, but it will be worth it for killing the TATUDs. Elsewhere, I'm thinking Bradley spam is the way to go. So we kind of just get a load of Bradleys into position. If they don't have recon, the Bradleys can do a lot of damage. So, yeah, we're just going to spread these out all over the place. And hopefully we'll be able to get some nice side shots in position. Okay. On top of that, did they bring in any aircraft? No, they brought in the helicopters and they brought in the artillery. Let's just actually get rid of two of these, maybe three of these, so that we can run the Kiowas from the start. Okay, that'll do. Off we go. So I'm probably going to drive this M577 over here and then up into the tree line there. These two Bradleys might not even want to stay this far up. We might just fall them right back. We'll take off with the Kiowas so they aren't vulnerable to artillery. And we'll make sure that all of the scouts are in reserve fire. Yes, sir. We'll bring in an F-16 to deal with an MI-24. TATUDs on the right. Be kind of funny if they didn't bring any to the left, wouldn't it? Actually, I don't know if that would be funny at all. That would actually be kind of sad. Um, at least we'd have plenty of time to sort out a reaction. We'll bring all of these back onto the road here and across, because yeah, it looks like most of the TATUDs are on the right. We're going to have to just fall back here. Bring over the Kiowas. Make sure that we have the supply ready to go. <laughs> That's a lot of ATGEMs. gems. Okay, let's just keep falling back here. I think it's Tow Cobra time. Oh, there is a Belusa. Make sure we kill the SBW. Good kill. If we can keep them blinded, that would be fantastic. Uh, let's just bring this back away from the Barusa. And maybe I can kill the Barusa if it comes up more. Yes, Captain. Roger. 
All right, Toe Cobra should be able to get in range here to help take out some of these TATUDs. So far, so good. We've actually done a pretty good job of absorbing this attack. On my way to coordinates. Out. Yes, Captain. We've got casualties. I've got them. Tank ready. Copy, right, there are TATs coming up on the left. Let's bring our tow cobra over there as well. And so far, it seems. These Bradleys have managed to hold this road pretty well. So I'm going to provide them with some supply. War daddy to red leader. I am listening. Enemy at three o'clock high. Ammo depleted. I hear you loud and clear. We'll find them and then we'll kill them. Oh no. <laughs> Oops. All right. Let me bruise her down. We killed the TATUD on the right hand side, that's good. Let's fly. Alright, I think we can probably start moving towards the edge of this. Oh no, okay. There are actually tanks up here we gotta deal with first. Okay, that's not so bad. If the Barusa here is dead, then we can use the helicopters to hold them back. Good. Let's get the M577 to contest that. Great kill. Alright, more Bradleys here, please. Ready, sir. Hit. Roger. War daddy, I'm listening. Hit. And I might also bring up some more Bradleys over here. The captain and his crew yeah, I'd say so far, board. things have gone well. We just need to keep absorbing these attacks. TATB died, that's good. Keep these Bradleys coming in. We're contesting here to stop them getting too many conquest points. I reckon we can set up the Bradley line here now. We might have to, oh, we might be able to bring in the Bradleys on the left as well. Right, TATUDs, they are a priority. We can move these Bradleys back up. The great thing about Bradleys is they can scout for themselves. It's so nice. These TATs, they're showing side armor at the last second there as they're trying to turn around the corner. We're popping them. I thought this would probably be harder than the Mount River engagement we had against the TATUDs. But to be honest, it hasn't been too bad. That being said, please take care of that Igla for me. We cannot be having that shoot down a Kiowa. These Kiowas are very precious in this engagement. I'm gonna get a wild weasel. 
just to go and have a look around, see if we can take out any extra AA. Ready, sir. Stop and have a look around. Big problem these CATUDs are having though is that they're just blind. I don't have any recon with them. There's a Barusa. Nice. Take that out. Thank you very much. Still gonna worry about Tunguskas. The captain and his crew welcome you aboard. Raven 4, waiting for action. This is Red 2. Enemy spotted. Should probably have this move back a little bit. So the other Bradleys can engage at the same time. Radio check. Red one six. Stop and have a look around. Yeah. Waiting for instructions. Yeah. Enemy in three one nine. I've got him. If we just had more Bradleys here. These wouldn't be able to stand up against these at all. It's just T62s left now, so the Abrams will make short work of those. Beautiful ambush on this road. Let's get the Hemmets in to repair the Bra the Abrams, sorry. And uh, we'll make sure to move up these Bradleys to keep helping engage the T-80s here. I think the Eagle is still alive. I'm skeptical about engaging with the Kiowa on the right. Checklist completed. Ready to the Eagle actually just shot at the Toe Cobra. Radio check. Red one six. Over. Oh, we dropped enemy morale by 50%. That's big. Bradley is here, just moving across the open. That's poor. Half oh, I don't stand a chance. TATUDs keep trying to get around the flanks here, but the Bradleys are in good position dealing with those. We've managed to full cap this sector now. I wonder if we could get into a position to full cap this one. Honestly, in this in this battle, we probably want to win by morale victory though. Killing all the TATUDs would be huge. The artillery is a little scary. We could counter battery. We do have plenty of M109s. Not one of the Bradleys went down. Unfortunate. Bring up a couple of M35 supplies on the right there just for those Bradleys. I bring up a couple of these tree lines as well. <laughs> Look at all those totes. That's the ATUD getting slammed. Waiting for instruction. Be 
Alright, more Bradleys, please. Where is that firing from? Be careful. Enemies nearby. I got him. Will do, sir. <laughs> That's gonna be a lot of M109s firing away. And now the UD is coming here instead. Waves of totus. Oh, where are we being hit from? That counter battery was really fast. We didn't even have time to really react. It's like they were just waiting for me to fire. <laughs> hey, sir. Okay, let's go get repaired by the Chinooks. It's not like I did a fire order and then didn't move them. They were still completing their fire order when that rocket after it came in. Big kills. That's what we like to see. Let's move this supply over here. Since I'm going to be firing next to it. Counter battery wars. Still more TATUDs coming in. Enemy morale drops to 44 now. We're getting there. We are getting there. Yeah, it turned out that this battle. Didn't really lose half as much as I expected so we would. I'm Do the same here where we'll move that just in case. The other thing that's scary about that is these are two vet. So their rate of fire is actually being increased. Yet they are still like too slow to be able to move before the AI counter batteries. The was goes up in smoke, that's good. I'll move one of the helmets up just to repair the M577. Another dead TATUD. And another dead TATUD. <laughs> Watching all of the toes blow those up is just so fun. A lot 
lost range at the last second there. Is trying to sneak up and take out my tow cobra. Let's not allow that. Maybe what I should do is bring in a scout unit that can spot this stuff that's in these buildings. Like that eagle just got taken out though, so it should be fine. I should have a scout unit. There we go. More UDs destroyed. There's two more, three more on the way there. Last one. There it is. All right. Well, 240 kills, 13 losses. Very, very good. Very good. Imagine a Bradley killing that many T-80s. Incredible. This one actually killed more. Six T-80 UDs, two T-80Bs. Absolute heroes. My poor recon got kind of trashed this game. <laughs> Such is life. All right, well, let's move on. That actually wiped out the T-A-T-U-D unit entirely. They're gone. They are gone. We are now on 70 points. We kill 30 more battalions. We can just win before the end of the campaign. I mean, it's 9 out of 12 turns though, so I'm not sure I'll get that done in time. We wouldn't have enough fatigue to do that, I don't think. But we're certainly getting a good score. All right, so you can see, you can see when they are, when there's actually a, a net up. That's good to know. That is good to know. All right, we can destroy this unit for free. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I want to do it with the Panzer Battalion though. I might want to do it with the Panzer Grenadiers. Where's that Pioneer unit going? Like they're trying to flank around the top side of Ausfeld. That should be a total victory, right? What is this unit? That's just the same as what we fought before. It's a shame that they didn't both bring in like those units. So we made this attack last time against the 241st, but the 120th didn't actually reinforce them. Otherwise that would have been a really good battle, but we'll just sort of resolve this because it'll just be the same as the last one. That's good. Uh, we need to be a little bit careful here with fatigue, but they're going to be retreating, so it doesn't matter anyway. Right here, we're just going to go hunt down their AA. This tank unit's in disarray, isn't it? Let's just finish that off. It's a major victory. Maybe bring in some aircraft. Actually, that's got the AA net there. Do I bring in the Tactical Fighter Squadron again? I think I will. We bring in these and this and then order resolve. That will hit the AA net. I will probably lose another plane. But we will win. And then that should be enough to get the total attack and victory there. Perfect. Move up and get rid of that salient. Fantastic. All right, so uh, let's just yeah go hunt down the books here. We'll move in this direction. That will also allow us to see some units further back that have air interception set up. Can't believe like there was a battle where we hit like four air interceptions. <laughs> 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 All right, anyway, yeah, we can parrot attack here. 
That's actually a total victory as well. What units are these? Are they just pioneers? <laughs> they wouldn't stand a chance. Okay, well, goodbye. That's good. And I'm tempted to just shift the Panzer Grenadier Battalion over here. Just to kind of block those off. And we can move the VKK over there as well. Very good. I would like to make a counterattack here, but I'm a bit worried about my fatigue. Because if we attack, we'll go to five fatigue. I think. And then if they attack us, regardless of if we win or lose, we'll be disorganized. So it's probably a bad idea to actually attack. I'll leave a unit here. And let's just see what's ahead of us. Okay, so we're actually reaching into their back line now. Yeah, there's another unit here. So these are the ones we keep bumping into, these books. It's crazy, there's so many of them. We'll move that up like so. I think what we do, we don't need these this Panzer Battalion to attack oh, near Lauterbach anymore. We'll prepare an attack here, bring that in, order resolve. They surrendered, so we get the free win. Then, we shift that up, and we engage this unit with these two. That's going to be a minor victory. So this could be a battle that we actually just play out. Uh, before we do that, let me see about shifting forwards a little bit with the AA. And then we'll do it. Wait, and why is that now a total victory? Okay, I mean, that's what I wanted in the first place. Uh, these guys are having a bad time. <laughs> Let's keep them back. They're up to five out of six fatigue. All right, so the front line's looking pretty good. We're making some great progress here as we come towards the end of the campaign. That is why I'm order resolving a lot more of these battles, by the way, uh, just so that we can like get through the end of the campaign. We've really broke the camels back. A lot of the hard battles are out of the way. Uh, that was a very difficult battle, but we utterly annihilated those TATUDs. We can attack here. I actually don't think this is a bad idea because hopefully it will call in both of these. There Seed is up, so we definitely bring in the 480th Tactical Fighter Squadron to back us up. All right, let's Tactical Battle, and we'll jump on in. Oh, actually, because we already broke the nets in the last turn, yeah, we actually didn't need to bring in the Tactical Fighter Squadron. And they only brought in one of their units. Okay, so it's just the one that we attacked is all on its lonesome again. So this is going to be kind of similar to before where we just have groups of Abrams charging forwards. For just being a little bit careful as they go. We have like really, really bad recon capability. We actually have almost zero recon capability. War Daddy to Red Leader. I'm listening. Alright, 
let's launch. Off we go. No need to, to mess about. Just speed things up and zoom through this one pretty quick, I think. I'm in charge here. This is a story you will tell your grandchildren. I hear you loud and clear. Yes, Captain. We've got the M113A cabs following us up. Because these provide easy recon for us. It's a little bit extra optics to help spot infantry. Making sure to shift that Abrams over to the right to help deal with that. Might have to be a bit careful about side shots like this. But so far, so good. Going through this, these buildings seems like a really bad idea. Let's just take a wide berth. We'll send the Sabrams over here. And those ones over there. The A-Cab died. A lot of Ace Gems flying in from all over the place. That routed unit might end up showing side armor. A lot of these Abrams have been hit pretty hard by the Maliotkas. Working out pretty well. That left flank is a bit scary. We'll try and avoid that as much as possible. Alright, all the while we can bring up plenty of supply here just to fix up these ones. And they can rejoin the fight. We'll keep pressing towards the spawn here so that we can catch out the reinforcements as they come in. That way we don't have to worry about the range engagement, especially if we get into this tree line here. It would be really nice. Pretty fun battle to manage so far, just because the the front has been so wide here. And we're kind of throwing forwards all these Abrams like one by one, and uh, they're doing a fantastic, fantastic job, nice and spread out like this. 
we managed against the infantry relatively well. We're already on the plus seven, but to be honest, it's most likely going to be a morale victory. The sheer force of our attack blasting through them. That's what we like to see. Oh no! I think there's just a mod Schutzen on the flank there. Managed to get an RPG in the side. But let's not throw the M113 away. It's like basically our only recon for this unit. Let's have these now for shop. Okay, let's just finish things off. One left. Goodbye, Mochitsen. Job done. Very good. 61 kills, 4 losses. We did lose 1 Abrams. But otherwise, destroying BMPs left, right, and center. Goodbye to that unit. Alright, so that kind of helps secure the flank of Lauterbach. And unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, we'll just make our remaining moves and then. We'll see what the pack forces want to get up to because they really are lacking power now. Many of their troops making a retreat in the previous turn. Let's find out next time around. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.